This is 3 News Daily. Hello everyone, welcome back to 3 News Daily on your Wednesday. I'm Stephanie Haney and thank you for being here for the stories that matter most to you in Northeast Ohio. And I'm sorry to say that we start with a tragic story here in Cleveland where a mother has been charged with murder. This is after leaving her 16-month-old daughter alone for eight days. Police say 31-year-old Crystal Candelario admitted to going on vacation to Puerto Rico and Detroit earlier this month. And when she got home last Friday, her child was unresponsive and later died. Investigators said the child was extremely dehydrated. Candelario is being held on a $1 million bond. And in another absolutely tragic story in Norwalk, a pregnant mother has died after being shot by her two-year-old son. According to a police report obtained by 3 News, the woman called 911 and told dispatchers that her toddler shot her in the back. The shooting happened last Friday, and investigators say it was an accident. Right now, that two-year-old is in his father's custody, who was not home at the time of the incident. Now, in Stark County, a worker at the Timken Steel Faircrest plant was seriously injured. This was after being pinned down by steel on Tuesday morning. Workers told firefighters that the victim was working on some sort of lift when something fell on him and trapped him. The victim was freed by fellow employees and then taken to the hospital where he is in critical condition. This comes nearly one year after a worker was killed and two others were injured after an explosion at that same plant. We turn now to an update on a story we've been following. Cuyahoga County Executive Chris Ronane introduced legislation at the county council meeting to relocate the county jail to Garfield Heights, but some residents do not agree with the proposed location. Our Neil Fisher has more. The first official steps taken to relocate the Cuyahoga County Jail, as County Executive Chris Ronane introduced legislation authorizing the purchase of 72 acres of land in Garfield Heights. We need to move, we need to act, and uh, we need to act expeditiously for, again, the well-being of those in our custody and also the workers who work there. The announcement was met with disagreement by residents, including Samaria Rice, the mother of Tamir Rice, who was shot and killed by Cleveland police in 2014. If we have to have a new jail, it definitely shouldn't be on the east side of Cleveland. And, and I'm going to tell you why the east side of Cleveland is very oppressed already. Rice said if there needs to be a new jail, to put it on the west side. I asked Ronane about their choice for the new location. Garfield's a southern site in the county, but it's central to the 59 communities of Cuyahoga County. While many residents shared their displeasure, Dave Wondolowski, who represents 12,000 construction workers in northeast Ohio, was the lone speaker to agree with the legislation. The Garfield Heights site is a smart solution and deserves this community support. I'm proposing a site that I think is befitting of a modern system that we need. Uh, it spreads it out on a campus. Uh, it's humane uh, for those that are in our custody and for our workers. Now, the new jail will likely cost around $750 million, and Ronane tells 3 News that money will come from an extra quarter percent sales tax for Cuyahoga County residents. Now, the Cleveland Film Commission is asking for your help to sway state lawmakers to get more film production shot here in Northeast Ohio. Right now, the state's film tax credit incentive cap is $40 million. And the newly proposed House Bill 33 initially wanted to raise that to $75 million, almost doubling the amount of productions that the Cleveland Film Commission can attract. But last week, in a revision, the Senate, in its version, dropped that number to $50 million. Film Commission President Bill Garvey says that's not enough to continue boosting the region's economy. This push to 75 million is needed to remain competitive because as we uh, are sitting at 40 million currently, other states that we compete against are raising their tax incentive caps and capturing more of the $238 billion a year uh, that is spent annually in production. So that's studio spending that's coming to the state, spending in the state. Now, the Film Commission has posted a petition online urging the legislature to increase the film tax credit by $35 million, and they want the public to sign it. So we have more information about that on WKYC.com. Interesting debate, of course. A lot of uh, people probably concerned about where their tax money is going, but a boost to the economy for sure. So check out those details in WKYC.com. All right, thank you for being with us for today's edition of 3 News Daily. Whether you're watching us on WKYC+, YouTube, Instagram, or listening on your favorite podcast platform, 
We appreciate you. Have a beautiful Wednesday. We'll see you back here tomorrow with one of your top stories from Northeast Ohio.